Welcome to Shomach Shova Nadav, Shiva's Pantsu, Lui Nishma Sabi Akashom, Leaba Sitchok. We're holding in Bometsia Daf Lamid Base. The Gemara in the Tabak Lamid Base tells us that we learn from our Sugyo that Tsar Balichaim der Raisa. There's a Isa der Raisa to do Tsar Balichaim to cause any pain to an animal. What is the reason for this Isa? The Pajam Shad is Rachel on the Kol Maiso, because Bukha is Rachelim on everything they created. He doesn't want any creature to suffer. But the Rishonim bring two additional reasons. The Rambam in the Morin Evuchim Chalagimel Perik Yudzayim, and so says the Messias Hashem in Perik Yudes, that the reason is, is to train a person not to be cruel. HaGashbuch wants Am Yisrael to be people that have Rechmonas, they have mercy, that care about others. If they can be cruel to animals, that would lead them to develop the meat of cruelty, and they may use it against human beings as well. HaGosh wants us, in general, to act with rachamin, to act with mercy, and that will reflect everything that we do. That is the reason that Tzar Balechaim Deraiso, HaGosh Baruch tells me Deraiso, you're not allowed to cause pain to animals, because causing pain to animals means that you will be cruel, that will cause cruelty by you, and we have to act in a way that is not cruel, that is full of rachamin. Al Pi Kabbalah, we found another explanation. This explanation is brought down the Rikanti in Parshas Emor. He explains that many times there is a Gilgul. Gilgul means that an Shamo needs to go into the body of an animal in order for it to have Kapar. And the Rikanti explains that many of the mitzvahs of how we act to animals is because of this concept in Kabbalah. Because there may be in the, these animals in the Shamas of human beings. So you don't want to do, for example, you don't want to kill a mother and a child on the same day. And this is the reason for Tsar Baichaim, says the Rikanti, Tsar Baichaim, because they may be in this animal in a Shama of a Yid. The Rikanti adds that it's not so simple that Gilgul of Neshamas goes into animals. It is a discussion in the Rishonim. And he says there's many riots that there is Gilgul into animals. The Ridbaz and the Sefer Mogen David Oisei brings also this discussion. Does an Ishama go into an animal? And he brings that some say there's a Pasuk, Atzila Micher of Nafshi, save me from a sword, Miat Kelev Yechidosi, from the dog, my Yechidah, Yechidah refers to the Neshama. Make sure that my Neshama doesn't go into the body of a dog. And he brings, he says in the name of the Medoshanelam, which is the Zoyer, but the, in the footnotes they bring, they don't know exactly where, what, he, what he's referring to. So it says, the Pasuk says, Odom ki akriv mikem korban. person who brings a korban from himself means there's such a thing as bringing a korban who is the person himself. When do you bring a korban who is the person himself? When there's a gilgul of an ashama into a body of an animal. And in the Sefer, Metsudas David, in Mitzvah Shimon and Beis, the Ritbaz go on, expands upon that a little bit more. And he says, the Pshat is, that when you have a gilgul neshama into an animal, Kishboch is mezamin that this animal becomes a korban legabi amizbech. But if he has a balmum, if the animal becomes a balmum, that means there was not lerotzoy to a Kishboch. Kishboch doesn't want him to come to the mizbech. He doesn't give him that kaporo to be oil legabi amizbech. But says the Ritvaz, there's another solution. It could be on the mizbech or it could be eaten by Amisol. When Amisol eat meat, they elevate the meat and they make it ruch and they make it spiritual. And if there is an Ishama, which is Megulgul, into this animal, so the Ishama has an Aliyo, the Ishama has a Kapara. And he continues on to say that the same thing is when an animal belongs to a Goyen, the Goy brings it to Mizbeach, made very possible that there's an Ishama that was Megulgul, that was this Galgal into this animal, and this animal is the way to get out of it. To get now, it's not only an animal, but it also belongs to a Goy. The way to have Kapara, the way to have elevation, to bring it up, to have a Aliyah of an Ishama, as by going in the Mizbeach and have be a korban to be closer to HaKadosh Baruch So according to this, this is the Pshah of Tzar Balichayim. You never know, it may be not only an animal is being hurt, it may be that there's an Hashem of a Yid in there, and causing Tzar to that Yid. The very Mamukim of Baal HaKabbalah. Anyone who wants to join Shomach Shavah email list of what's a girl, please email shomachshavah at gmail.com.